think of all the kids that are in sixth, seventh, and eighth grade who are good students, but they, they've created a narrative that says, I can't do math. It's an epidemic of kids who come into middle school, you know, predominantly girls, I have two daughters, right, who come in and they're like, I'm not a math science girl. Okay, let's go read all the learning science papers about how middle school girls can't do math science. Okay, there are not And so part of what our job in middle or when they transfer in high school is to fix that. Now, what do you have to do when they come into middle school? They don't know the multiplication tables, right? They don't know the prereqs. They are going to struggle in algebra. And so you're like, okay, let's go back. Let's fill them up. And all of a sudden, once you fill the holes, all of a sudden they can do it. And then once you know algebra, right, you're like, oh, I can do chemistry. When you log in to our system, it literally tells you, you know, in two hours a day, you know, you're three years behind. So you first come in, you're like, you're three years behind. You're like, oh my God, that seems insurmountable. You're 20 to 30 hours per grade level. So you could be 60 hours behind if you're three years behind. 60 hours, that's it. You're 60 hours away. And you're like, so if I do an hour of homework. In two so months, the, I'm there. I'm caught up. Yeah. It's a decision, not an inherent capability. And the point of this is, you know, what's even more important than the academic knowledge, it's their internal view of themselves that changes. That kids come in and say, I'm not a math science girl. I can't be top 1%. I can't do this. Whatever limits they have, they come back and they're like, I didn't realize I could be top 1%. And then once you take a middle school kid who's top 1%, as they go into high school, they're not going to give it up. And there's this mental view of, oh, I guess I am a smart kid right? Or I'm a capable kid, right? And that unlock is so valuable. My youngest daughter, who's just took the SAT, and, you know, uh, it's, she's top 1%, but she's not perfect 800. And she's asking the AI, she's like, how much time will it take for me to get up to the top to a perfect 800? Just out of curiosity. She's right? like, well, no, she's like, you know, dad, you know, all those STEM boys, you know, they think I'm this dumb TikTok girl. And, you know, if I get an 800, I get to mog on them the rest of their life. And I think it's totally worth it. 